Is my Instagram gonna crash? Is my Instagram, is my Instagram gonna crash? Is my Instagram gonna crash? Please don't crash. Yay! Hello, everybody. I'm live on the gram. I just tried to go live and then my, my Instagram crashed. Oh dear. How is everyone? 96. Woohoo! Hello, 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 hello. Oh my gosh, people are actually joining this live. It makes me so happy. Oh my gosh. Who's here? Um, I thought I'd come on here because I need some form of some form of chin wag going on. Um, Billy, hi Billy. What was it? Try and say my name, Aisha. Aisha, but but Chul. What was that? Right, um, I'm gonna put some music on. So, the, oh my gosh, there's 190 people here. That's really cool. Um, so I thought I'd come on live and chat to everyone and just see how everyone's keeping. How's everyone doing? How is lockdown treating you all? Do we have any people from outside the UK? <gasps> from Australia! Oh my God, this is really cool. I'm very good, thank you. Um, Cause I know the sound, I know the sound of your heart. How am I finding lockdown? I mean, it's fine. I'm a little, every now and then I have like, every now and then I have, oh my God, the Netherlands, the States, Wales, Australia. <gasps> Um, how am I finding lockdown? I'm finding lockdown okay at the moment. Um, I'm keeping busy. I keep having moments when I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this is actually happening. Do you know what I mean? What's this thing? Oh, questions. Oh, I didn't know you could do this. Sorry, I'm just trying to work this all out. Um... Juliet fan art, love it. But yeah, I've kind of, oh gosh, I'm trying to keep well, trying to do some exercise. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants to ask me any questions, ask me, ask away. Um, and it's, oh, this is awful. Anyone's got any um, things that they think I should do for the YouTube? I've got a new, thank you to everyone who subscribed, by the way. If you haven't, I'm back. Um, it's Grace Mower. Please subscribe. Um, I've got a new video coming out on. Right. Um, it keeps pausing. I might release it maybe on Thursday, but then I don't want to like put too much out because I'm going to run out of ideas. Um, pausing for everyone else as well. Um, so my, yeah, my next video is like a video of my mum and dad and we're doing a challenge and it's really funny. It's just silly. Um, and then I'm going to do like an isolation vlog about what I've been doing. Um, hang on, I'm going to, I'm going to move over here. Oh no, my bottle's leaking everywhere. Maybe if I come here, it'll be better. Um, the Minnie Mouse blanket is here. Uh, okay, let's do some questions. Best advice for someone wanting to get into musical theatre. I've got a performing arts degree, but it's not from a drama school. That doesn't matter. Um, I know so many people who are in the industry who didn't go to drama school. Uh, it's all about kind of like you connecting with as many people as possible. Um... For example, like, 
doing things like NYMT and YMT UK. Uh, you have a degree already. So I think just contacting people, going to workshops, going to classes, like getting yourself out there, doing concerts if you can, like sending videos of yourself, etc. Just putting yourself out there. Um, how do you stay motivated? In terms of lifestyle or like like healthy living or just in terms of anything I don't play any instruments I can play really basic piano and that's it my favorite queen I had low well I loved them all oh my god my bottle was leaked so much um but 100% by the end of my contract my favorite queen to play was Catherine of Aragon easy peasy um, I don't live with In terms of motivation in like attitude, I think my mum is a very positive person, so she helps a lot. And also like, I think social media, it plays a lot. I think when you remember that you're in control of who you follow in social media, it makes social media a much nicer place to be. Um, so like if there's anything negative or anything that makes me or makes me feel insecure or whatever, I will just use that unfollow button and unfollow it. Um, and then I'll follow those positivity accounts and people who inspire me and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, being in control of your social media, remembering that positive mindset makes a positive outcome. Um, favourite show you have done, I, apart from Six and Anne Juliet, I love them, I think my favourite show I did was a show called Soul Music at the Rose Theatre in Kingston, I did in 2014, and it was actually directed by Luke Shepherd, who directed Anne Juliet. Uh... And it was the best time of my life. It was so much fun and the music was amazing. If I could star in any movie, who would it be in which film? A uh, live action version of Moana, Hundy P. Favourite animal is an elephant. Um, oh my God, South Africa, that is so cool. My favourite memory in six. Um, in terms of like sentimental wise, I think it was um my last show easily 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 peasily uh, I talk about my my last show on a podcast that I recently did with the queendom uh Australia queendom um it was like I, you know those moments when you're like oh and I actually have a video that I'm planning on sharing at some point of when we came off stage after my last show and our dresser Ben had poured loads of uh poured us each a cup of prosecco and i was holding it and i was going i was each crying i was like <laughs> each and every one one of you has inspired me so, and like i couldn't even breathe i was like i just love you it was awful and i'm such a mess i'm so sweaty from stage it was oh it's so funny hello from spain uh, my dream role is probably, at the moment, Eurydice's in Hadestown. Uh, or Eliza in Hamilton, or Elphaba, or Glinda. Um, Favourite tea? I love a uh, lemon and ginger. Or just a good old English breakfast with almond milk. And one sugar. What queen did you originally... So, originally, in my audition for six, I was auditioning for 
and Berlin and Cleves. They're the well, I wasn't ever I wasn't ever like auditioning for a specific person, but just in the audition they these are the people they sent me. So I only sung for Berlin and Cleves and then they also um heard me do my own song and I sung Black Heart by Stushy. And um so I sung for them and then I was in the audition with Maya. Me and Maya were at college together. And Maya was literally reading for everyone. Like, literally everyone. And I was like, oh, oh no. Like, they only have heard me do two. And then they, they, cut, they said to Maya at the last audition, they were like, we, like, we don't know where we're going to put you, but you're going to be in it, basically. And I, and, but they didn't say it to me. And I was like... <laughs> anyway, I was in my agent meeting with my current agent and we were I just signed and I was like chuffed and then I got an email from my head of year at the time at GSA and he said can you um call me ASAP uh, it's about six and I was like oh my god I, was, I said to Stephen my agent I was like shall I shall I call him now like while I was in the office he was like yeah okay and I called <laughs> and they were like you've got an offer from six and I was like oh my god for who and they're like swing and I was like what I was gassed I was gassed and me and my agent were literally jumping around the office like ah! and I was literally like oh my god and bearing in mind at that time the musical was still so new that like people like didn't really didn't like, I didn't really know about the Queens. I, I knew a little bit about it through Renee, because I knew Renee before. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be a swing. <laughs> what the heck? Um, yeah. Random. What's your middle name? Elizabeth. I know. Random, right? Um, Dan my dream role. Ah, oh, I do try to stay positive. Yeah, RIP my bottle. Because I haven't put the lid on properly. <sighs> well, there's fluff in it as well. Uh, what kind of singing tips do you do? Uh, oh, warm-ups. I do a lot of uh, straw work. Or I've, got, I've got a vocal tube from Amazon. It's really good. Um, I paid £15 for it. And then I took it into a warm-up. And Ollie Thompson literally laughed at me. Because he was like, you do realise you can get like one pound pipe and just cut it. And I was like, oh... <laughs> I spent fifteen pound, but it's very good. Um, Josh is at home. Has Natty? Yes, Natty's forgiven me since I've thrown an orange at her head. In the West End, a role that I'd want to pay. Uh, Eliza, favorite Disney character, Moana. So it's Aragon. My favorite unusual fizzy drink. I love Shirley Temples, Grenadine and Lemonade. Um, what other role would I, I'd love to play Anne when I'm a little bit older. Love to play Anne, what a role. Favourite season, summer. Favourite pre-show chat with the audience that you've ever had. Oh, that's a good question. I love my pre-show chats because I meet people from all over the world. Like, I remember when I got told that I was doing it, I was like, oh my God, this is just ridiculous. Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, James Bourne from Busted. <laughs> I sat down at the beginning of the show and I literally looked at him and I was like, you're James Bourne from Busted, but I didn't say anything. I kept my cool. I pretended I didn't know him. I told him some cheese jokes and he loved it. But I actually did, when I was younger, I, he had a show called Loserville, which was a Son of Dork musical at the Garrick and I did leafleting for it in Leicester Square. £12 an hour. And he was there, but I highly doubt he was going to remember the girl who was giving out leaflets for his show. Do you know what I mean? So I just didn't say anything. Six around Juliet, not answering that. They're far too different. Who would I want to collab with on YouTube? Miranda, um, I don't know, anyone, Miranda sings, style inspiration, myself, I don't know, uh, Renee Lamb, 
Um, apart from Juliet and Judith, which and Juliet character? Uh, definitely May. Uh, May? <laughs> Anne? <laughs> or May? Could you come to Paris? Yeah? I could come to Paris. Um, I live with my parents. I have TikTok. Me and my boyfriend made a joint account called Grosh Maker. So everyone go and follow our TikTok. Oh my god, Lewis Connor's here and Josh is here. And Mummy's here and Cordy's here and Jacob's here and Billy's here and Lewis is here and Kate's here. Hey! Uh, oh my god, I've skipped so many questions because I was doing chat, chat, chatting away. Uh, yeah, I'd do a video with Courtney and Vicky. What film would you love to be adapted into a stage musical, Moana? Maybe when we're in a ranking. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do prank videos. Fran Nockenbrock! <laughs> Hello, Brian! Oh, I think he's gone now. Um, I really want to dye my hair blue. Sending love to South Africa. Um, but I'm not going to dye my hair blue, let's be honest. Lots of dream roles going on and people joining late to the video because I feel like I've said that. Uh, being a dance captain is really fun and really difficult. You watch the show a lot. Uh, it was very difficult with Six because I was on all the time. So I never really got to watch the show. Um, what's your spirit animal? Uh, I don't know. Probably a sloth. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Maybe a um, Duracell bunny. Because I'm always moving. That's what my mum and dad call me. Yeah, I'd love a YouTube video with... YouTube Milio! YouTube video with Millie! YouTube Milio! That's what I'm gonna call it. Oh my god, Alex Gage, I'm your biggest fan. Which role? Uh, nah, nah, nah. On stage mishaps. So many. So many. I think I used to. When I was first making my debuts in Six, I would just make up the words. And I'd also steal everyone's lines, which was good. How come you and Courtney swap Seymour and Aragon? Because um, we just felt better doing each other's. I felt better as an Aragon, she felt better as a Seymour. Um, I'm not doing my salsa dance move. What do I order from Starbucks? I order a almond milk um, frappuccino with a sugar-free hazelnut latte. <laughs> My next YouTube video is hopefully on Friday. Uh, what other job would you have if you weren't an actor? Either a vet, if I weren't allergic to um, dogs and cats, or a personal trainer. Maybe a chef. Maybe a counsellor. Oh, I don't know. Um... Have I ever fallen over? I don't know if I've fallen over. I've definitely slipped. I used to slip on the confetti at six all the time in the Mega Mix. All the time. But I never fell, you know? Have I fallen over in Andrew yet? No, I don't think I have yet. <laughs> um, beg you answer my text. What? Lol joke. I don't know what you're saying. Wow, 205 people here. That's mad. Um, da, 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 da. My favourite cover colour is uh, teal. Hey, Mike. Big love from Scotland. When do you think the West End will be back? I really don't know. I can only pray ASAP. Can I be your straw? Oh, my God. Um, <gasps> let me be your straw. Um, what advice would you give your nine-year-old self? Um, my nine-year-old self, I tell them that you are beautiful and you are lovely. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Uh, emotionally charged, demanding role. Maybe Catherine Howard? hard song um oh my god i fit i'm go oh gosh i'm so far back on these comments favorite memory of honga tuesday saturday school 
<laughs> uh, who am I still got? Ollie Thompson is here! Hello, Ollie. I was just talking about you on here earlier. I was telling him about the straw. Right, I'm going to have to go down because I feel like I'm so far behind on these, um, on these comments. <laughs> Whose music would you like to turn into a jukebox musical? Um, that's a good question. Uh, Stevie Wonder? Music in the world. Um, where in the UK? I'm from Surrey. Sorry, darling. Grew up in Surrey, but I live in London because I'm an actor. Says great. Uh, has your Nando's order changed since BGT? No, I'm pretty sure it's still Mushroom and Halloumi, right? Hey, Jacasta! Oh my god, I'm really, really far behind. Um, oh guys, all these questions are lovely. Oh wait, I can just do the just do the questions on the question thing, can't I? Let's do it like that, shall we? Chris, hello. Oh guys, this is really cute. I was so far behind. I'm gonna go on this question thing now. Yes, he has. Big fan, big fan. And I miss him, so I put it on when I, when I think about him. <laughs> How gross is that? Um, I hope you enjoyed your... Ah, oh, I loved my ginger shots and chocolate. Thank you, colette.co.uk. Um, my favourite lockdown snack... I love to get some chip and dip soon with jalapenos um, um can you <laughs> this is funny i don't know if this is a, a sarcastic question because i did a performance of no way and i forgot the whacking and i was like <laughs> um i think so do 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 Something like that, I don't know. Not really is the answer to that question. Um, my mum and dad. And lots of snacks. Um, who gave you permission to be so gorgeous? I'm so... Oh, I'm so uncertain with my training. I'm a first year at Bird and now I'm so confused on what's happening. Any advice to keep positive? I think in terms of training, in terms of being an actor and being in this industry, we just have to keep faith that we're just going to pick up where we left off. Um, when that will be, I don't know, but I'm, I'm hoping by the end of June... I don't know if that's optimistic, I don't know, but that's, I don't know, that's just a random in my head. I would love to be back on stage. Um, and I would love for everyone to be back at train, back training and back doing their thing. Um, I'm hope, I don't really know about drama schools, but I'm hoping that schools are like still going with the curriculum and still sending work out and like doing online classes and stuff. Obviously like, I don't know. It's so hard, but I think you just have to be so positive that um, it's going to blow over and just absolutely immerse yourself in the world of the theatrical world so that you still, like, stay on top of your game and you don't go back to it being like, oh. Because I remember at GSA sometimes i go on summer holidays and it'd be, like, six weeks or, like, Easter was, like, four weeks. And we'd be going, like, just doing my holiday thing and then I'd come back into a sing lesson and I'd be like, ah! Um, so just keep on top of it. Do a singing warm-up every day. Do a class every day if you can. As if you were still at college but in your own home. What was life at GSA like? Going next year for stage management. Oh my god! GSA is just the most amazing place. It's um, something I said actually in an interview was like, they don't just like train people to be good performers they re they train you to be like 
people, like good humans, if you know what I mean. So like, I feel like it's a very family vibe and like even now like loads of GSA alumni are like teaming up with graduates to like be like auntie and uncles, we used to do that in freshers, um, to do like a virtual lockdown aunties and uncles system and just like support each other. Um, yeah, it's the kind of place like, come on, but I'm a good human. Didn't hear about that, boy. Um, yeah, I loved it. I think it was well fun. Uh, what have you been doing whilst in lockdown? So I've been doing PE with Joe Wicks every morning at 9am. However, I didn't do it yesterday because I woke up and I couldn't walk, which just shows how much I've been working my legs. Um... So I did, I did yoga with Adrian yesterday morning. Basically, I'm trying to exercise every morning, 100%. Did meditation yesterday with Heels and Feels, which is CJ's company. Um, no, no. Um, <laughs> I'm applying to a text of someone who's watching. Um, what else have I been doing? I've been... What have I been doing? Oh, making YouTube videos. Also, I did my whole bedroom. So I literally, so I actually pretty annoyed because I did it all in like one go. And now I have no jobs to do in my bedroom apart from under my bed. But I like sorted out all of my drawers, all of my wardrobe, all of my like jewelry, everything and sourced it out. And it's really nice. I've had the best sleep last night apart from I had a really bad dream that I lost a limb <laughs> um next question <laughs> moving on <laughs> but apart from that it was a really good sleep um i'd love to do a challenge with kirsty um can you i think uh Biggest pet peeve, biggest pet peeve in the theatre in terms of being on stage. I really, really don't like it when um, when people film. I hate it. Uh, it's really horrible seeing a load of iPhones in new audience or other phones. Um, Especially at, at, in like amazing bits, like the end of Raw, like people get their phones out all the time, and I'm just like, this is like a overload of the senses right now. Why would you want to watch it through a, a screen? Do you know what I mean? Why would anyone want to do that? It's like the best bit of the show, and people are just there, like filming. <sighs> Annoying. Um. What's the craziest swing moment you've had in Six or Julia? Uh, probably like a good old mid-show throw-on. I had one, well, only one in Six when, um, bless me, I had a nosebleed. And then I had one in Julia. And also, but the best one, well, obviously horrible circumstances, but was, was when Jocasta made her and debut. Um, at the beginning of Act 2 and it was her first time she'd only done a run through and she smashed it and my heart and I to be Julia and I was so proud of her I was literally watching her like oh, she was unbelievable and she looks fierce in her Anne costume she looks pang um, I want to come to Scotland uh dream holiday would be bali staying in like a hammock on the beach and like meditation and yoga every morning and then like a good bowl of like mango and then like you know like drinking coconut water like straight from the coconut you know what i mean some proper like cleanse and maybe like like a good old night out in there as well. <laughs> uh, that'll be my dream holiday, Bali. 
Uh, yeah, I am doing a quarantine vlog. It's not going to be very interesting now, I'll be all right. Um, let's see. What did you do for GCSEs? So at, um, at my school, we had to choose a um, technology. So I did food tech and I made a banoffee pie that put my brother off banoffee pie for the rest of his life. And what else did I do? I did, uh, what else did I do? My mum's watching it, she's literally in the other room. Hi mum. What else did I do? Oh, I did performing arts, GCSE, and I did... I can't even remember what... This just shows how little it matters. No, I'm joking, it does matter, it does matter. Um, I, I did, do you know what? I did AS philosophy and ethics whilst I was doing my GCSEs because I was clever. Um, yeah, food tech, performing art. I can't remember what I did. Mum, if you're watching, can you come to my room and tell me what I did for my GCSEs? Um, also, if people have questions, I'm in the question box. I'm not looking at the comments right now. Sorry. Um, for A-levels, I did uh, English Lit and Lang AS, but then I dropped it. And I did performing arts, I did drama, and I did sociolo sociology. Yeah, so sociology. Sociology? Sociology. Sociology. Um, no, don't be worried if your drama school audition has been cancelled. You will get your chance, I promise. Um... Oh, this is nice. When did you find out you got Carson and Juliet? I was with Jed, uh, Jed Berry, who's one of my best friends, and we were having a coffee. Hey, buddy! Um, we were having a coffee in Pret, and my agent rang me and said, you've got an offer from Anne Juliet. And I was like, ah, oh my God. Um, and it was really nice because when Jed found out he got kinky boots, I was with him. And he was like crying at GSA and I went over to him and I was the first person he told. And then, so he he was the first person I told when I got Anne Juliet. Uh, so that was really nice. I love Jed. <laughs> Jed Hoyle's here! Oh my God, hello! No, not you. How are you, Jed? Um, yeah, that was fun. Uh, let's choose a new. Um, my middle name's Elizabeth. Uh, any tips for young singers? I think practice, practice, practice. And, uh, sing loads of different styles. Like, never box yourself as a certain type of singer. Sing, like, legit, classical, pop, musical theatre, jazz, like, just dive in in, in musical theatre there's like a load of those styles already in musical theatre so just go into them i can't believe there's 250 people watching um living that indoor life <laughs> will you um i'm probably not going to be posting dance videos on my youtube channel <laughs> maybe <laughs> don't think so um I haven't ever been on holiday, and a fan has noticed, but I have been in a spa. Um, that was that was crazy. How's the... What, what do you say when you feel like giving up or going through a hard time? Um, I usually, like, look up quotes on Pinterest. That make me feel better. I love Pinterest. Um, I... Whenever I feel like giving up, it's probably because I've, I'm having a bad day. But I'll try and remember that it's a bad day and not a bad life. And also practicing gratitude makes me have a lot less bad days. Um, yeah, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. It makes you a much more positive person when you realise how lucky you are. Um, uh, I don't really know what's happening 
with GSA right now, when I was there, it became a lot more like dancier because it very much used to be known as like a singy acty school, which I think it still has a great reputation for. But like we did Cats as our third year show and we had some unbelievable dances in my year. Um, so yeah, I had a good dance training, I think. I wouldn't say that I'm going to be in a professional production of Cats anytime soon, unless I was playing, like, Jelly Laura or Grisabella. Like, I don't think I could do that, and I don't think I could do, like, 42nd Street. But, like, I did Six, and Six is pretty dancey. And Andrew, yeah, it's like... Kind of. You know, I could get through in a, a dance audition, you know what I mean? Say I'm a good... Um, I'm a mover, but I'm not a dancer. <laughs> But it's a great school. Wow, you put this question a lot, Jacob. <laughs> um, hey. I was meant to be flying 11 hours halfway across the world to come and see you next month. <gasps> oh my gosh. Well, Savannah, we will get you there when this all, when this all goes. Bless you. Uh, what is your favourite makeup brand? <laughs> I'm a mover. <laughs> What's your favourite makeup brand? Um, I love It Beauty at the moment. I love their concealer and their CC cream. Um, yeah. NYX. I don't really have a favourite makeup brand. Benefit's nice. Um, my favourite musical at the moment... It's probably still Hades Town. Do you know what? I just love Legally Blonde so much. And I kind of rediscovered my love for it the other day. I really want to be the first Asian L Woods. Has that happened yet? I could do it. I think I'd pull off a blonde wig. Oh. <clears throat> that was my phone. Um, yeah, love Legally Blonde. Let's go with that. And Hades Town. Um. Oh, Josh just texted me saying we were meant to be going to Paris tomorrow. That's so depressing. <laughs> we're meant to be going to Disneyland. Oh my god, I'd love to perform on Broadway. That would be so fun. Um, I think it's it's quite tricky with like um. I'm sure there's a rule that's like, if someone from Broadway goes to the West End, someone from the West End goes to Broadway. Is that still a thing? I don't know. Um, did you perform for Six as well as Angelia? Yes, I did. I was Catherine of Aragon on the Sunday at West End Live and then I got changed into my Romeo Who t-shirt. And was giving it, it's my life. It was a crazy day, but funny. It was just funny. Mm. Oh, I love the podcast. Thank you. I did a podcast recently. First ever podcast. It was really fun. Sociolology from Courtney. <laughs> uh, other drama schools. I auditioned for Arts Ed and Mountview were the other ones. I kind of, I knew that they, GSA, Arts Ed and Mountview were like the schools that I was like, had my like eyes on. And I was kind of, I didn't, like the thing is with drama school auditions, I swear it's like 50 quid or something to audition nowadays, isn't it? Um, so I kind of said, right, if I'm going to pay that money, like I want to, audition for somewhere that I really like and also like I know I knew from classes and workshops and stuff that getting into drama school isn't easy so I was kind of willing to give myself like five years so I kind of would oh look how dry my hands are from washing them so much look I cut myself and everything wash your hands but moisturize sanitize moisturize anyway so I literally um yeah oh yeah I kind of gave myself five years to get into drama school so the first year that I didn't get in, I was like, do you know what? I'm going to have a gap year. It turned out to be one of the best years of my life. And then I was like, 
after my gap year, I'll maybe do a foundation course, but then I was lucky enough to get in. So I was kind of like, give, I was happy to give myself time to get into a school that I wanted to go for. If that makes sense. Uh, what do my parents think of me being on the West End? They love it. They're such fangirls. They come and watch the show all the time with a different group of friends every time. <laughs> if I could live anywhere in the world, oh, I just love, love, love London. I don't think I could live anywhere else. Maybe I'd love to live maybe in... Um, um, Courtney. <laughs> Courtney, yes, it is. Um... If I could live anywhere in the world, it would be, apart from London, it would be Bali. Yeah, done. What is your background? I'm half Burmese. Uh, what's it like to be in Western life? Crazy. There's so many people in the audience. It's literally like a C. Yes, Courtney, in reply. <laughs> Are you, is Courtney here? Because she's texting me. Yeah, she's here. How is she texting me at the same time? Um, what about you, Courtney? Um, yeah, I cry too. Oh, all the... I have one brother in terms of siblings. Um, mm, probably singing. And maybe, ooh, Courtney, I just saw ya. I just saw ya text. Um, <laughs> this is so funny because you're here, but you're also texting me. Yeah, you're also texting me. You're also texting me. Texty, texty, texty. What? What has been the highlight of your West End career so far? Are there any shows roles you would like to be in? I've already answered the um uh the um dream role. I'm really struggling to think. My brain is going blah, blah, blah. Um the highlight has been Do you know what? Edinburgh Fringe was an absolute laugh. I loved the Edinburgh Fringe. Um <laughs> Courtney's been here the whole time. Oh, my back. She's crippling. Um, and also my last show of six and also Press Night of Anne Juliet was bizarre. So many celebs. Ed Sheeran was in the box, like, rocking out, like, one less problem with that. And I was like, what the heck is actually going on? And then I, like, looked in the order and then I was like, Nicole Scherzing. And then I, like, looked over here and I was like, Jessie J. And I was like, what? And then I, like, got my phone out. And then I, like, went on Jessie J's Instagram story. And it was me being like, good evening, everyone. And welcome to the very first performance of Romeo and Juliet. And I was like, what? Oh, and then I was, I was Juliet in front of Katy Perry. And that was probably one of the best nights of my life. Um, what's the most important thing you learned from GSA? Don't box yourself. Because at GSA, I was the person, like, I was that kind of girl who was like, I want to do this kind of musical. Like, I want to be in Les Mis and I want to be in The King and I and I want to be in Rogers and Hammerstein musicals. <laughs> it didn't happen, but I'm having the best time. So don't box yourself because you never know where you're going to end up. You might end up in two pop musicals, like me. Um, oh, don't stab yourself with a compass. That would hurt. I started singing when I was like six. Um, we had a little holiday home, and I used to do. Uh, I used to do. Talent shows. The best thing I've ever eaten is Perry chips with Perinese. 
full stop. Um, a role in MT you love but couldn't do due to race, age, gender. Oh. Um, I don't know because times are changing. Not saying that like in terms, I guess in terms of gender, probably like the likes of like Evan Hansen. So basic, I know. Or maybe Orpheus in Hades Town, if I could play the guitar, and if I was a boy. Age, um, maybe like, um, Abuela in In the Heights. <laughs> I love that role. Race. I don't know, because I always say this. I'd love to be like. I'd love to play like Glinda or Elle Woods, but that isn't even like a restriction anymore, really, is it? I feel like, I feel like times are changing and I feel like I could, like, pe they would see people of any ethnicity. Um, yeah. I'd love to be in Hairspray. But I guess, do you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I'd love to be like Penny in Hairspray. That was a fun role, isn't it? Without love, life is like a da 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 da. Oh, I'd like to play Aaron Burr. Um, I'd like to play. I don't know. I haven't thought this through. Um. Uh, what other hobbies do you have? I like doing exercise and I like um, vlogging. I have a vlog. <laughs> I'm a vlogger now. <laughs> other hobbies. Um, do you know what? Josh taught me how to skateboard the other day. And I, I've learned how to, like, set off on a skateboard. I'm actually quite good at it. I can hear my mum listening to my live. Just come in here, mum! I can hear the echoing. Right, how do I find... Oh my god, there's so many questions. Um... Josh, yes, I do miss Manchester. I love Manchester. What did I love? What was that vegan junk food bar? We went to this mad vegan junk food um, restaurant. It was amazing. What else did we do in Manchester? We did um, Crystal Maze. That was very cool. Um... Yeah, love. Everyone's... Manchester is like a happy London. Everyone's so nice. Tattoos. I've got this tattoo, which is the sunshine that I have matching with my mum. And I forced her to get it, but she made me... She made me pay for it. Do you have any tips for boosting self-confidence? Um, I think accepting that we all have our days and our... Days when we feel insecure about ourselves. But, hmm. Um, write down all the things that you love about yourself and the things that you're proud of yourself for. And then write down the things you dislike, the, re the reason you're feeling self-conscious. And burn it! Burn it, rip it up, whatever you want to do, and watch it and feel it going into the atmosphere and getting out of your life and change it into positivity. Uh, no, I don't cover my tattoos. I've never needed to yet. Um, I can hear my mum laughing at me. Uh... If I wasn't Catherine Parr, I wasn't Catherine Parr, I was a swing. I was an alternate. 
Uh, I don't know. If I went back, I'd probably want to play Aragon, to be honest. I had so much fun doing that doing that track. Um, if I could be best friends with one Broadway star, who would it be? Mm, the cast of six. <laughs> um, oh, Lea Salonga, duh. Easy peasily. Oh, in my third year, my only role at, in third year was a role called Eileen in a show called Nice Work, if you can get it. And it was a interesting role. I had a song in a bathtub called Delicious, and it was a soprano song. And it was like a comedy character. And then I sung it in the bath and I had like a bra on with like plastic bubbles attached to it. And then all these girls came out of the bath, one of whom was Maya Quonsabreed in these like shell leotards and they danced around me in the bath. <laughs> and that was my third year show. <laughs> I think I've got a video someday, somewhere. I'll have to find it. Yeah, that was my only role. And then we did hair and I was ensemble and we did cats and I was ensemble. Uh, best piece of advice you would give to a drama school student? Uh, depends on your timetable, but something I wish that I did when I was at GSA is use the time wiser. Like in first year, we had a lot of breaks. And sometimes I feel like I didn't use the breaks wisely. Um, but I mean, I don't know, I was in the uni experience, you know, so, but yeah, use the time wisely. If you have like, if you have a break, then maybe use that to do some stretching, do some singing, do some practicing or whatever, learn some material that you need to do. Because I would kind of just sit, sit around and annoy people to be honest. No, I'm joking. But, yeah, use the time wisely um, and have fun. I was reading a journal, actually, that I have from drama school and everything was so, like, heightened and important. And obviously it is, don't get me wrong, like, drama school is very important. But when you're there, everything that happens to you is like, <gasps> do you know what I mean? Because that's your world, like, you get so engulfed into this world and, like, that's all you know. You kind of sometimes forget to realise you forget that there's like a bigger picture a role mm. Mm. Uh. um what musical would you die to be a part of Hades Town <laughs> can you tell I love Hades Town <laughs> Um, where did you and Josh first meet? Is he watching this? He's not even watching it. Billy's here though. Um, we met at Anne Juliet. <laughs> Favourite cast once on this island? Um, would I want to be in Heathers? Yes. I'd love to be Veronica in Heathers. Heather's is a bop. Um, oh, Billy's gone. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my God, I've been on this live for like nearly an hour. Who's been with me the whole time? Holler at me. Um, skincare tips. Um... Skincare tips. So I'm a massive fan of Lizzo. I've used it since I was like 14. Uh, for people in shows, a big tip that I would have is to get rid of your makeup first before you cleanse. So you can either double cleanse or sometimes I take my eye makeup off with oil-free makeup remover because I used to have eyelash extensions. Now I have the remainders. So sad. <laughs> They're so bad. 
<laughs> oh my god, they're so bad. Anyway, um, so I take my eye makeup off with oil-free eye makeup.